Hi everyone, welcome back to Rise of Legends LP. I'm your host Ryan. And Giacomo is now um, crossed all the way from the southern coast of the island, wondrous la land of the island, to the nor northern coast, coast. And I believe to the left is uh, his uh, home, uh, homeland of Da Vinci. And he's at a crossroads of some sort. And yeah, at the meeting grounds, uh, he met uh, a new Vinci hero, uh, also stranded after uh, sort of deserting from the Doge's army and uh, was basically um, wearing a gas mask and the master of poison, it seems. Another poison cloud. And poison assault and deadly poison. So all manners of poison is his specialty. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, and he either has a choice whether to go back and take back the southern dunes or try to go to ancient waste, volcanic land devoid of life. Oh wow, that seems like a picnic in a park. <sighs> yeah, last time uh, Giacomo was in the meeting grounds and I thought it was going to be a cake in the walk in the park just a cake I guess uh, walk in the park and uh, it was a bit I guess I was a surprise maybe I underestimated the difficulty I was uh, polarized by uh, what appears to be uh, what appeared to be the alien ultimate unit the glass dragon um, was shooting at these beams of blue death from the sky and like uh, oh no just continuously didn't even break a sweat there um, just killing our like desert walkers in just one breath of fire so uh, yeah the first mission the first attempt at least was a failure the second one second time I uh, wised up a bit and uh, constructed for the first time uh, the alien eternal flame I think I constructed constructed two of them and one of them was not really eternal flame as it was destroyed but uh, I think it was uh, good enough that I was able to manage my uh, my uh, the grubby hands on the oasis for 18 minutes that was required um, right now I have two choices I can either go back to the southern dunes and I don't defeat Karga or go toward Ancient Waste with each volcanic wasteland uh, to get extra memory points, emergency supply, uh, domination ability, and the uh, Ancient Caravan. Immediate gain of wealth during a scenario. So, this is like a one time use thing, uh, deal. You have to weigh the, I guess, different. I guess aspect. Uh, I guess different ways of weighing um, pros and cons of either going back or just pushing forward. They're both territorial uh, strength-wise rated as five. So I guess this guy doesn't really put up a lot of resistance. I guess, but I think we still have some time before. Kar Karga decides to attack either Azar Harif or Brightlands. And oh, I just noticed this. Oh no, Brightlands does not have military district. Great, now I have no choice but to uh, go back and try to attack Karga. Alright, so that sort of settles it. Um. Yeah. Attack. All right. Let's see how it works out. My first battle with the Ellen hero, Dark Ellen hero. Dark Chasm. Okay, it's a different map.
The enemy has been spotted. Amongst the dunes. They must be destroyed. No kidding. Look at this dark glass. So much glass. Looks like the desert has been polarized by a nuclear weapon or something like that. Uh... Yeah, basically it's a skirmish map. Let's see how uh, well I'm able to deal with this. Some extra units, it's good. I can build some oasis down there and uh, research our okay. And get more caravans going. Mouse is corrupted. Oh, good sign. Good sign. And not corrupted. Interesting. Quest is just capture all of enemy cities, which gives us a hero unit bonus. And uh, it seems I can see more of the map now, since I began trading with them and. Uh, Okay, so okay, they were like a city right at right at the edge of their original. Maybe I don't know, it's just a placement problem or something. Okay, I will construct a sense fire and then we build these miners. It's good to have a certain amount of. Uh, Troop stationed uh, in the immediate area outside of your main city. Yeah, these guys are uh, already spying. Being, being a general nuisance. Send you to a comfort. Oh, trading post. So there's like the... Oh, Dark Chasm. I know what it means now. We are divided... We are divided by this huge cliff or huge division in the middle of the map. So what we should do is uh, construct eternal flames. It's more to our advantage uh, in the long run, I guess. Um, Maybe you should start capturing uh, cities, uh, like they're doing. Here you go north, combined with our... Maybe we can convince them to join us, especially here. Um, I shouldn't be really close to them. I just don't want to anger them, that is. Yeah, they captured the city. Uh, kind of worried, but that's my nature, being worried. I uh, already gained a large city. I sincerely hope that's uh, to do with the Dark Island itself and not that I'm really behind or something like that. Um, yeah. A lot of wind here. Um, okay. So we need to build a lot of um, 
you need to uh, help us. New reinforcement, good. Extra caravan, a Vinci caravan. Interesting. Still, a bit of a bit behind. Um, hopefully, uh, this will be ready soon. I need another city to anchor my southern, I guess, area. Um, that why it seems a bit symmetrical. Now they gain the third city. Uh, okay. Wait, no. Good. Alright, these are the glass village. I really don't I'm not quite familiar with. Yeah, you gained the relic here. Can I get the relic? No? Not anymore? Okay, I got the relic, good. Yeah, uh so since we got them. We can probably construct eternal flame just to protect our flank and move north and maybe try to take the city by force. So different strokes for different different strokes for different I guess situation. Yeah, getting more units. Adding them to our force. Maybe I'll be able to buy them as uh, we increase our increase our Keep one married here. Yeah. Yeah, no more time to dawdle. City. Yeah, capture. Okay, good. Now we can construct more. See if we can uh, kill the mine here. This huge uh, amount of deposit certainly will come in handy. Yeah, this is one of those huge uh, maps, I think. It's like five cities on each side. Might be a bit too large for uh, it to control all of this unit safely and responsibly. This caravan is not doing anything, uh, might as well trade. Um, yeah. So the time again a large city. What? Summon something. I hope it means that the. Uh, I hope he didn't summon like those crazy uh, glass dragons or something like that. That would be pretty crazy. Yeah. They certainly um, are expanding. Uh, I think I'm a bit behind. Oh, 
Alright, more reinforcements. Good. Capturing some cities here, in the north. Uh, maybe I can purchase this. Yep. Small city captured and uh, expanding my territories ever further. Um, yeah, very good city. And need to build this district. Part my main force there and just leave, including uh, my heart seekers. Just to let you know, I have decreased the, the you know the panning speed a bit to be able to uh, reduce so sort of that the reduce the kind of a the side effect of me just jerking around like a madman. Trying to get bearing on things uh, in the limited scope of the map, uh, the view of the map. Uh, what's down there? Okay, still. So, uh, training post has been acquired. Good news. Just have to keep uh, abreast of things. This is my second city. Yes. Treasure stash declares war. Okay. Can you attack? Yeah, I can attack. That's good. Treasure stash has declared war. Wow. That's something you don't see every day. Um, things to do is always keep uh, your units busy and uh, try to um, always move them in the right position I guess. This guy will be very helpful. Yeah, the enemy alien has uh, basically captured all the cities and uh, it's only a matter of time they start attacking us. Um, we just need a... Uh, we just need... Uh, I like how this structure forms, it's just like uh, formed out of some kind of a spire of sand um, tornado or something, it's pretty cool. Um, I just ready my box, uh, puzzle box, and to ready to attack soon over the chasm. And gain a large city myself. This will be my southern, I guess, force. Yeah. Guys have to stay together and not um, get separated. Resources. Yep, in our city, and start upgrading. And maybe getting new hero units such as Ari. Try to cross the chasm. Try to cross the chasm. Yeah. 
try to cross it. After I, uh... Good. That took a uh, little bit... Quick and painless. And I try to attack from the north. Uh, there's another city there. This will be my launching pad. Of course I build a mine here. And Nairi is almost... Almost arriving. Almost arrived. And you guys need to also... Start building. Nairi has arrived. Good. Good, along with her um, unit. Okay, what's that noise? Oh. Yeah, my Timonium is now... I'm just raking in the Timonium, and it's probably, by this time, it's more of a cause of, uh, more of a cause of, um, you know, tactical uh, superiority, because in resource lines we are basically all, all filled up, it seems. Yeah, just gain all the guys and then uh, see uh, what I can do with this uh, fully charged transport unit. Uh, I think it will be an adventure, of course. And uh, since I have another attack... Alright. Uh, minor attack, it's, it's nothing we can uh, defeat back. And, uh, yeah, let's continue and see what uh, we can do with this. And as we gain more trade, uh, as we uh, trade with this uh, trading post, uh, we can certainly uh, construct a new circle of sand. Dark Alien definitely has a counter attack here. Uh, with their married and what have you. Um, I think Erin will not use her magic yet. Transport thingy. Yep. Okay. Now, what are they able to do there? Join the fray, guys. Join the fray. Now, Ari should be able to use her fire bang or whatever. Her special unit. Special ability, not unit. I think it's working. Alright. Oh wow, okay, the substantial uh, resistance. Uh, I should uh, help. Alright, guys. the glass level all right there is uh, doing a huge amount of uh, all right 
Now it's time to get some Magus District, boy. Magus District, Magus District. Yeah, oh, no. Not enough. This keeps dropping for some reason. So where is my. Okay. Maybe I need an extra. Oh, here. This is high value unit, high value, meaning that I shouldn't lose them. Uh, lose them. Yeah, incoming transport. Uh, maybe already dropped some units already, but. Yeah, Sand Dragon, get my way. Um, I'm feeling a bit back would be a wise choice here. Since, um, I mean, we do have some range in it uh, coming in. And, uh, These are easily defeated, uh, more or less. Now, uh, Giacomo, where are you? Oh, he's in the middle. Okay. Um, Giacomo will probably have to move, move, on, move down and then try to uh, squeeze them uh, from south and north. While um, getting a bit more Units. Okay, need more Magus District. Okay. Magus District coming coming up. Uh, usually flying units can just uh, you know cross the distance. But my main back of my main main unit is uh, none other than Yeah, so yeah, these will be my second force. They are also joined, and now where's the puzzle box? Can't really tell where they, where it is. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, this ship's uh, getting attacked here. Okay, dog. Yeah, I think they're doing a relatively fine, which for which I'm rather thankful. I mean, they are using a rather basic, basic uh, unit. Okay, let's see now what this can do. I hope they. Uh, Kind of distracted up there. And, uh, whoa! Where are you going? Going all the way up there. Yeah. Giacomo. A room for Giacomo too. Alright, the pressure limit has been reached. The puzzle box you can just fly around. A little bit of surprise attack, maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, we are on the attack at the usual place, the usual time. Um, where is. Okay, they're slowly making a track. Let's see how uh, much of that they have developed. They have Glass Citadel, they have all this uh, unit. Their city is not well developed, uh, which is good. 
Uh, the puzzle box is uh, yeah, they do have this. It's a puzzle box. Oh, you cannot cross. Uh, okay, seems to be floating, but it's not. Alright, Mr. Poison. We will join Japamo. That will help, definitely. I'm um, trying to. Okay, I need more, uh, need more transport. Uh, yeah, I have uh, underestimated the strength of the troops there. Need more uh, ground troops. Seems. I mean, Jacko himself probably could take them, but the kind of attrition that he's taking. Alright, uh, where's the transport? Is it coming around? Is it coming around? Where is it? Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to navigate. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I may lose my uh, hero unit and everything. It was a really bad calculation. Yeah, it was. Chapel might fall here. Yeah, damn it. That was not good. Uh, let's just take another city then. Alright, take these guys first. Yeah. Well, a big loss, I guess, uh, just that I am not able to. Wow. Keep producing, keep producing. There is in danger. Yeah, wow. So come on, uh... At least I get these guys, I guess, to help us. Uh, how powerful are those? Not very powerful against the golem. We can just spam, uh, spam glass cannons, perhaps. Uh, 
a lot of money, so Chapman has arrived, good news. And uh, yeah, they're getting more insistent in defending the city. Uh, Chakuma will just blast them. Okay, so how is my desert unit? Produce. Okay, Ari, go back. Um, yeah, invocation might have been useful. Uh, yeah, you guys. Excuse me. Alright. These dragons should do something. Alright, how is the status of... Dragon. Yeah, this is uh, certainly uh, to get the city back. Come on. Slowly taking over the city. Oh, these guys are not doing anything. I guess should be in the front and center. Uh, I guess we'll be able to take these guys. I guess it took a couple of tries. I guess, uh, definitely, but. With three heroes by our side, we're able to just. Good for some way. Um, yeah, this is they're done for. I guess this city is a uh, basically uh, finished taking over. Uh, it's Giacomo uh, uh, conserving as a linchpin here. Uh, thankfully, uh, all this uh, will be, I guess, ours. Uh, and yeah, we do need to have a certain defense ready just in case they uh, try something different. Yeah, these guys are just basically um, just purchase them. Uh, yeah, they do now have uh, surprise, surprise. Now they they now do have ah uh, uh, taking us such a long time. I mean, it is a great city after all, I guess. Oh wow, I did defeat the enemy. Great. I didn't know that was their capital city, really. As I mean, the last city falls, we can finally claim our victory. Uh, I should have just targeted it in the first place. Okay, good. Good. Um, so, uh, didn't get to see the Dark Alien, or... Um, didn't get to see the Dark Alien and uh, the hero abilities. Maybe I 
Yeah, I think I saw the um, the Karga. I think that's the Dark Ending Hero's uh, name. I think he used a couple of summon uh, Dark Ending unit abilities, uh, but ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, we basically started at a kind of mirrored 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 uh, position. I was in the south uh, west, and he was in northeast. And this was uh, apparently a large city, and uh, yeah, they really defended it to the very end, but they were never really aggressive enough in uh, defending it, and I do think that maybe Giacomo's uh, foray uh, sort of a kind of a um, kind of botched foray into the south might have helped uh, divert the attention, but uh, yeah, I was able to uh, capture it uh, with uh, not as... Not as I guess much of a difficulty, I guess. Um, I mean, the Dark Alien does um, capture the cities very fast, but most of their cities are not really well developed by the time I actually uh, try to go over. And my defenses were, like, I could have definitely done a better job in moving the units around and gaining more and using uh, our available units on the other side of the uh, chasm. And uh, yeah, and the wealth of uh, my units, yeah, the wealth was uh, substantial. Timonium, of course, I was probably able to call upon uh, Politore, Politor, Politore, with this raspy voice. Um, yeah, well, overall, it was pretty good. Uh, pretty good, I guess, mission. Okay, so what they become is that uh, they get destroyed after they get destroyed after being defeated. So that's a bit of a difference from the Vinci campaign where they just retreat and uh, still available as a hero unit after uh, they retreat. But I guess the alien, I guess they don't have that kind of, uh, I don't know, I guess they don't suffer that kind of a uh, I guess humiliation, I guess they just disappear into thin air or something. Uh, some, some, something to do with their energy or something like that, maybe. Yeah, I was able to recapture the Southern Dunes. And in terms of the wealth, I have, I have enough to make another industry district. And I'll probably think about next time. Since um, we gain wealth, uh, how many times? How many wealth do we get for each each turn? Um, so, if we were to build a castle, palace district, which would help us a lot, plus six. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can spend until. We can spill. Oops. We can spend our wealth until it's one, and uh, by the next time it, our turn rolls around, we can uh, we can build the palace district at Nazar Harif. I think. Mega district. Uh, here we reach 5. Well, we gain a lot. It's good. Two books to eight there. That's just overpowered, it seems. Could be overpowered. Four hundred damage, three hundred damage. This must be very good. Rooks definitely help. Um, I wonder how often the Shink has this, but. Yeah, I kind of feel that I need to use these guys a bit more, I think. I'm just kind of missing out on the their abilities here. I'm not, going, I'm not sure that I'm going to miss this guy though. Uh, he does have some uh, Ziki, which is a really nice unit to have, but... This Poison guy... Seems cool. You can probably just use him for his appearance alone, and 
Maybe if we can acknowledge his, uh, the commands with this uh, voice, it might be pretty cool. But yeah, unfortunately they really don't. That's, that was a part of charm of uh, StarCraft with um, the units having their specific callouts and uh, uh, their acknowledgement of the command and stuff like that. Um, ultra augmentation, uh, I don't think I ever used it. I think I did use it the, uh, when it was too late though, uh, when I was attacking the south. Yeah, anyways. Uh, army still stagnant. Research unit still stagnant. Yeah, requires a lot of magic points. So if we defeat these guys, does it mean that we can just really, really uh, take our time, um, basically taking over every one of these territories? I hope that will happen. Um, I am sure that these um, dark aliens um, will prove to be a bit more than what Karga proved to be. Uh, in the last mission, I think this guy will be probably a bit more stronger and this guy will probably uh, just rain down all sorts of hurt like, you know, summoning class dragons and whatnot. Yep, uh, so the next course of plan uh, is see what this Devon does and we have a choice of either gain uh, magic point or Trying to uh, contend for cold sands. Or go up north and uh, continue. Or go up north. For now, I think uh, since the action is mostly here, I don't think I'm going to like try to avoid any kind of uh, confrontation. If needs be, I you know, try uh, my hand at trying to uh, go after temple sands. And after cold sands have been captured, I probably go up north and uh, gonna upgrade at least one of these units because I have five magic points by then. And uh, yeah, I see what I can do by the time I have enough points to upgrade. Yes, uh, this has been another, uh, I guess, um, I guess, fruitful episode of the Let's Play Rise of Legends and uh, thank you for joining me and uh, see you next time.